This graph shows you the range of human hearing at different frequencies. So our ears actually pick up some frequencies better than other frequencies. So for example, we're not very good at hearing low frequencies. At low frequencies, we need quite a large intensity before we start to hear it. This, the white part on this graph shows the sounds that we can actually hear. Above this level here, the sound actually does damage to our eardrum, so we can detect it, but not safely. Dogs and some other animals can detect much higher frequency sounds than humans can. So one interesting thing with sound levels is that because it's all processed inside our heads, a change in sound level of around about 10 decibels corresponds to something which sounds to us like it's twice as loud. So that's just due to physiological reasons. There's not really a physical reason for that. We're going to look at the Doppler effect now. You actually already know a lot about the Doppler effect. Just by listening, you can tell if a fire engine or ambulance is approaching you or moving away, just from the change in pitch. So soon you'll be able to explain why this is. So we're going to look at a number of situations. The first situation we're going to consider is a couple of surfers here. Let's call them Jim and Sally. Initially, they're both stationary. We've got waves coming in from the left of the screen. And now Sally starts to paddle towards Jim and towards the source of the waves. Now, look at the video and have a think about how does the wavelength velocity and frequency of the waves change in Sally's reference frame compared to Jim's reference frame. 